Wednesday. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hot News. Hope you enjoyed whatever day of the week you've been celebrating these past couple of days. Let's go ahead and talk about number one. We still got the giveaway going on. You wanna win an RTX 2080 Super? Here you go. This is one of the world's first PCI Express radiator cards, courtesy of Ace Tech, giving it away. A 2080 super for free. They're just super generous. So you can check the link in the video description, find out how to enter in that. And I'm just realizing now that as I was putting my son to bed, he got some of his food on my shirt. So that's phenomenal. We're gonna deal with that during this episode of Hot News, but I wasn't wearing this shirt when we talked about today's video sponsor. Hey friends, today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. In case you haven't heard of them before, Skillshare is an online learning community that allows you to take your desire to be a lifelong learner and expand it to thousands of different classes and dozens of different categories, whether that be business, graphic design, animation, photo and film, writing, whatever you might be interested in, you could totally do. And I personally love this class, Style Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design. I know that doesn't sound like me, but my wife and I have been deciding that we are gonna revamp our interior space because obviously with our son we got to make things sure things that are functional and beautiful and so we've actually been watching a lot of shows on like interior redecoration and Skillshare with this course by Emily Henderson has enabled us to do that so not not typically something I care about but Skillshare allows me to delve into topics I otherwise wouldn't have considered and it's more than affordable with an annual subscription to Skillshare premium coming in at less than 10 dollars a month. It's affordable, friends. And if you use the link in the video description, the first thousand people who join Skillshare can get two months of Skillshare Premium for free. You can join the community of lifelong learners, learn something new like interior design like I am, or you know, just uh, advance your career, something like that. First thousand people, click the link down below. Join Skillshare. Do it now, friends. Ooh, friends, it's time. It's time for the card that I've heard a lot of you guys are waiting for, which is the 3070. We have more details coming out on that from a leaker who has been slightly accurate in the past. There's been some predictions that this leaker has made with regards to Ampere. A couple have turned out to be true. A couple, obviously, we don't know the full picture of it just yet. But 3070 Ti or 3070 Super and RTX 3070 specs are showing up GA104 GPUs for around four to 500 dollars with eight gigs of memory and we could talk about the rest of the specs it looks like the higher tier SKU of the 3070 ti will have gddr6 x memory whereas the 3070 will just have gddr6 but as you can see the cuda cores are actually kind of up there the 3070 ti coming in at 3072 cuda cores the 3070 coming in at 2944 cuda cores which just for reference the 2,944 is what you can find on a 2080, and the 3,072 is what you can find on a 2080 Super. So basically just shifting things down a little bit as far as just regular CUDA cores. We are expecting that the memory bandwidth will be higher on the GDDR6, up to potentially 18 gigabits per second, I think I was reading. It's not yet known how much faster the GDDR6 memory will be on the 3070 Ti. The GDDR6X looks like it's gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 to 21 gigabits bits per second so you could be holding out for that but just so you're clear uh yes the CUDA cores are basically the exact same as what we have on the higher end RTX 20 series at this point it's going to be dropping it down in price you'll basically at least if all of this plans out the way that we're expecting it to be able to get a 2080 Super which is a $700 card for right around $500 which is a good performance difference if we're talking in sheer CUDA cores however we're also as expecting that the 30 series will number one have higher clocks but also number two have higher throughput as far as what they're able to do so we're expecting maybe a 20 to 30 percent uplift so not just the CUDA cores are going to be higher on the lower end card but then also the performance should be better than a 2080 super from the 3070 ti that's the general sentiment and then ray tracing is supposed to mop the floor we've been hearing anywhere from two to four times as much obviously we don't know that that's true just yet i would expect the 3070 Ti should beat out the 2080 Super at this point. Maybe not hit quite 2080 Ti level performance, or maybe it will. I don't, I can't, I can't prognosticate what the future is going to be looking like, but what's evident from the information that we have right now, the 3070 setup will be a full GA 104 die, and the GA 102 will be reserved for the 3080 and up, which we're still not quite sure if we're getting 3080, 3080 Ti, and 3090, and then a Titan, or if something's going to be changed around there. There's several different competing information sources going out there right now. So just 
hold your horses, but it does look like Nvidia might be launching the 3070 and 3070 Ti with the 3080, which would be nice for a lot of people. It's also the way that Nvidia has done it in the past with the 10 series. If we got the 3080 and the 3070 launching coincidence, coincidentally, coinciding with each other. Is that coincidentally? Doesn't matter. That would make a lot of people happy. We'd obviously expect the 3060 to come a little while later on. And then whenever the TI or higher end card comes, I mean, if you have $1,200 to race, you can race it whenever you want. Just go ahead and buy a 2080 Ti. Anyways, you can not waste money on AMD's new XT chips, which did officially launch yesterday. We mentioned that in yesterday's hot news, but reviews are out. And I just wanted to mention that in case you're looking for a review, roundupvideocards.com always does a really good job of compiling a lot of the best places on the internet for you to find reviews, whether it's written or video, they actually even segment it based it on that. And you can find it based on the chip that you're looking to get. It does look like it's anywhere between two and 10 percent faster depending on the chip depending on the work case use case scenario it does seem like amd did refine the xt chips over the regular x series chip so it's good but it's not necessarily something that you should be replacing anything for but i have to ask obviously with the xt chips being launched yesterday where are my apus amd where are my renoir apus i want them well, turns out that uh, at least according to information we now have, Renoir APU should launch on the 21st of July. So under two weeks at this point, which will include the Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G, as well as the other ones that we are expecting, such as the 4700G, which I cannot wait to get into that PC right there. That's my Inwin B1 PC, which we covered on our second channel, Brainus, in case you wanna check that video out right up there. I am putting the 4700G in there. You can't stop me. It's gonna be such a good mini home theater PC, kinda of just, um, I love it. Anyways, that's supposed to be happening. And turns out that the 4700G is an overclocker, a little bit because there's new overclocking posts that are coming out for the 4700G where somebody was able to get it up to 4.765 cores on a stock cooler on that eight core 16 thread setup. This is gonna be phenomenal. I can't wait. I can, I have to. I'm gonna wait. And you're gonna have to wait for Assassin's Creed Valhalla because there's no uh, no time frame for where you can actually go pick it up at this point. But AMD is gonna be giving it out with their Ryzen processors. We talked about how this was leaked. Well, it's confirmed their equipped to win bundle is now available from the 3700X on up. You can get Assassin's Creed Valhalla included with that. And you can include with whatever information. I just realized I don't have the lights behind me on. How could I film an episode of Hot News without my lights? Boy. Those are my snark lights. Gotta be snarky with you guys because keep saying, and there's all these leaks coming out about how, oh, AMD is not gonna have Zen 3 ready this year. Well, yet again, yet again, with the launch of the XT chips, Dr. Lisa Su came out and said, hey, no, they're still on track. Shh, don't you worry. Zen 3 is still coming out. Calm down, okay? That's happening. What's also happened is Main Gear launches a new compact desktop, which you can check out, which features the XT processors. This is a gorgeous, what is a mini ITX setup. I love it. Good job, Main Gear. That's beautiful. And we gotta, we gotta do a tone shift at this point. We're gonna take a moment to just uh, reflect on the fact that the president and CEO of MSI has passed away. Unfortunately, there was an incident where he fell from a building and he unfortunately died on uh, and was pronounced dead at the hospital yesterday. MSI obviously uh, headed in a very good direction under his leadership. He will be missed. Our thoughts and prayers are with him, his family, and hoping uh, that they can find some sort of comfort in a time like this. So that is unfortunate. We're just gonna pause for a second, take a moment of silence for him. And now try to find a way to segue on out to something else, which well, let's just go ahead and talk about Apple Silicon for a second, because there was a bit of information that was put out by WWDC in a presser that shows that not only is Apple planning on replacing Intel CPUs, they are also planning on replacing AMD's GPUs with their own lineup, which is going to be known as the Metal GPU family. So that will be 
a thing that Apple is having coming out. And what should be coming out eventually is the H.266 codec, which will allow for the same quality as H.265 at half the bit rate, allowing for more efficient streaming and more efficient uh, compression methods. So we'll just have to wait for that to get adopted. And Google Chrome is gonna be adopting a method that could help save you battery life. It apparently has to do with how they allow JavaScript to wake up and they're only gonna check it every once every minute, which is something that other web browsers already do. And as you can see here, it's increasing battery life, but up to two hours. So good job, Google Chrome, doing something that everybody else was already doing and then claiming that you are benefiting from it. And I'm not sure who benefits from the name, the Nord on OnePlus, but they're gonna be launching it July 21st in augmented reality for some reason. They announcing that the OnePlus Nord, a new kind of launch is coming on July 21st. So you can just, if you care about that, you can peep the scene on that and just stay on phones for a second. The iPhone 12 box apparently has been leaked, which shows that there is not enough space necessarily for a charger or for headphones. This is likely right there where the charger cable is going to go. And that's it's just going to and then the manuals there and then the phone sits on top. So the idea that they're not going to be including a brick charger or headphones does make sense. And it seems like that's true. And it seems like Apple's getting ready for the iPhone 12 launch because they are reducing the trade-in value of some of their iPhone models. You can see in this list here from the XS Max down to even the 6 Plus, there is a decrease in price on how much they're offering in trade-in. So we'll have to see if that is relevant at the time or if they're gonna decrease it even further or out of the benevolence of Apple's heart, they will decide to increase it and give you more, which they won't. And speaking of decreasing, GeForce Now is decreasing in game size yet again because they are losing Dark Souls, Ace Combat, Tekken, and Soul Calibur games later this month. They will, however, be adding a few more such as Trackmania, which I don't think is going to work on a cloud gaming service. That's a really fast paced game, isn't it? Satisfactory, Hard Space, and Danger Scavenger are also going to be added. And then just to close it out in games, the producer of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two says the development will not be impacted by remote working stating that yes we're temporarily dropping below 100 percent efficiency right now but i don't think that should be an impact in the long term because i mean honestly if you're developing a game for 10 years how much does one year of a pandemic really slow you down i mean it's, you still got 90 percent of your production time left i can't wait to play final fantasy 7 remake part 2 on my playstation 6 oh thank you so much tetsuya namura you've made my dreams come true and you've made my dreams come true by watching to the end of this episode. Big thanks to everybody who's done that. Big thanks to everybody who's entered to win the 2080 Super from Ace Attack. Check it out. Links in the video description for that. Also, links in the video description for today's video sponsor. And don't forget about Skillshare. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. First thousand people to join using the link in the video description. Get two months Skillshare Premium for free. That's not even money. That's less than money. D Reese, do you know how cheap free is? Uh. Yeah. It's, it's negative money. It's, it, they're basic, like they're giving you knowledge for nothing. So therefore it's negative money. Okay. You're getting value out of it. Math. And that's going to be it. I'm going to wrap up the episode there. I was a little off, off kilter. My lights weren't on. I got crap on my shirt. It was, it was a wild episode. Thanks for sticking with us. I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. And don't forget to get subscribed to UFD tech for all your hot news and stuff, as well as to our second channel Brainus, which we are doing a lot of content there. So you can go sub over there, watch our videos, and you can let your loved ones know that you love them. And that in this life where we are just a fleeting vapor, uh, we can find value in how much joy we can bring to others. Goodbye. <laughs>